Well, the time is finally here, guys. We get to look at Call of Duty World War II zombie mode. And right now at Comic-Con in San Diego, Sledgehammer Games is presenting this on a panel. They're answering all kinds of questions, giving some juicy intel. Hopefully, I'll be able to have another video out later today that'll share some of that information that Sledgehammer Games is talking about at Comic-Con. So for now, though, we can watch the trailer. So drop a like on the video if you're excited. Without further ado, here's the trailer. seen the vision of our Führer's future. The death of the old world and the birth of the new. Can you hear it? Drums. The drums of war. of progress. I have built more than just a new kind of soldier. I have created the devil himself. Access to the private beta. So the trailer starts out showing us a town, presumably Middleburg, uh, where you see the Iron Cross banners everywhere, and then it takes us below the streets of Middleburg. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing anything. Uh, and you can see that there's some sort of underground facility, a testing lab of some sort, and the grounds below are covered in blood. So whatever's going on here is not good. So in this next scene, we get to look at what looks like a patient chart, and it's an experiment going on on a human where the skin of the face has been peeled open. You can see the innards, the muscle tissue, the bone. Definitely doing some experimenting down here. So here's another look at that same patient chart. It's a little bit clearer, and also you get a different one right next to it. All the while, we have a mysterious voice, someone speaking about the Fuhrer's future and experiments and what they're creating. So here's our first look at the madman behind all the nonsense, or at least uh, according to this trailer, this is the guy who's speaking, the one who's justifying his actions for his creations down here below the streets. Uh, we don't get a good look at his face. He's definitely a doctor, a scientist. He's working for the Reich. He is helping the Fuhrer try to win the war by creating more than just super soldiers. He goes on to say he's creating the devil himself. All right, so next we get to look at what appears to be, I'm just gonna call it a creation chamber. There's a burst of electricity. And then of course we get our very first look at one of the zombies that we'll be seeing in this zombie mode here. And can we just stop right here and take a look at this guy? He's so gruesome looking, far more horrific and disturbing looking than what we're used to seeing in Call of Duty Zombies. So the fear factor is definitely there. So far in this trailer, everything is dark, it's dirty, and these zombies look 10 out of 10 amazing. So I've got very high hopes for the upcoming Call of Duty World War II zombie mode. But let's keep on with the trailer. So here we get a look at one of our characters. Now this is possibly Ving Rains, judging by the bald head. He's also got himself an AR in his hand, a horde of zombies coming at him, and he's doing what you do, you kill the zombies. So here we get a nice shot of some different zombies here, and some of these zombies seem to be electrified. Now if you guys remember, Sledgehammer Games did EXO zombies, and of course the EMP zombies. Oh, let's hope they're not the same as that, but definitely looks like some electrified zombies. And also we get a look at what could be possibly a trap on the map. We got a giant saw blade. It looks like it's running along the floor. It's slinging blood everywhere. Super gory, super awesome. But also if we take even a closer look just behind the saw blade. Now I have no idea guys, but, but 
That could possibly be over there in the corner, a machine of some sort. And that could potentially be Sledgehammer Games versions of our perk machines. We don't know if they're gonna be in the form of colas. I seriously doubt candies. What would be cool to see is some sort of dispenser of, of syringes or something. You know, we're talking super soldiers, serum, something like that to give us our abilities. Not sure though, they could just be something. It, it could be absolutely nothing. Now I wanna say this is a statue of a dude named Barbarossa who was a former king and apparently has a lot to do with the story mode and in particular his sword seems to be sought after by the Nazi army now apparently maybe the swords got powers that give the the scientists the ability to create these super soldiers we're not 100% sure what Barbarossa's role is and his sword but we know that it does play a role and a big one at that. So now we get a look at another character shooting at zombies with a pistol. This could be David Tennant's character who is playing the role as Dross and Hine. This could be the starting pistol. It's really, really hard to get a good look at it, but we're talking World War II era. There's only a handful of pistols this could be. So this could be your very first look at the starting pistol. So this is the point in the trailer where the creepy scientist man tells us he's created more than just a soldier. He has created the devil himself. And we see this gigantic zombie bust on the scene. He's got some sort of spiked sword in his hand. At one point, the sword even looks electrified. He looks absolutely terrorized. And we get some cool action sequences with some more shooting of the zombies. And then we cut the video. It goes to Call of Duty World War II zombies. And of course, this is gonna be available with COD WW2 as a third game mode. I'm super excited. Now, one thing we don't have an answer on in this trailer is this traditional zombies. Are the fundamentals gonna be there? I already spoke about possibly some sort of perk machine, but are we gonna have perk machines? Are we gonna have barriers to open? Will there be some sort of mystery box, some sort of randomized way to get weapons? Uh, we can assume that there's gonna be Easter eggs, and I think it's safe to assume that we definitely have a cool story going already, and the game's not even out. This is very exciting stuff. But I'm very curious, is this round based or is this like a campaign mode? I, I think replayability is very, very important. And I, I just hope that we have everything that we're used to having and, and Sledgehammer Games takes those fundamentals and then builds upon it and creates their own zombie mode. But from the looks of this trailer, guys, it looks amazing. I can't wait to see some actual gameplay trailer. I'm sure you guys can't wait for that either. But right now, this is a fantastic start. I want to hear you guys down in the comment section. I'm going to be reading some comments and answering. Let's get some theories going. What do you guys think? This Is it amazing? Do you like it? Are you hyped? I'm super hyped about it. Uh, let me know. Dying to know. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And guys, if you noticed anything in there that I didn't, uh, feel free. Feel free. Come at me. My Twitter's down below in the description, or you can just leave a comment down below. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.